I'm in college now. Let's go. Over the last month, I've moved in and settled down at Wash U. Everything's been going great except for one small thing. I'm living with limited possessions, which means that it becomes really problematic if I lose something of value. So to try to prevent this, I looked online for ways I could get my stuff back in case I ever lost it. Most of the sites just told me to be more aware of what I have. Some recommended options like tile and air tags, but those can get expensive and you can't use them on everything. So instead, I decided to make my own way of retrieving lost items. I wanted something that was small, something I could use for different types of objects, and something that I wouldn't have to pay $29 for, like Apple, bro, chill. I started with an artificial neural network ready to detect irregularities in my location radius, defined by- Nah, I'm just playing. I'm not that smart. <laughs> It's, it's, it's a sticker. <laughs> if you scan it, it'll lead to a Google form where you can submit relevant information pertaining to the lost item, like your name, where you found it, and your preferred method of contact. It's small, easy to replace or remove, and you can mass print them right from your home. I've had these for about a month now, and I've actually gotten my AirPod charging case returned because of it. After that, I just started putting them on everything that I've touched. And the only drawback that i found is that some stickers can become too hard to scan if it's a surface that you touch all the time. But even then, you can just add tape or put more stickers on top of it. I think that this is something that a lot of people could really benefit from. So if you want to learn about how to make these stickers and recover your valuables for $10 or less, keep watching. To start, you'll first want some sticker paper. You don't need hundreds of sheets, and it's pretty cheap. You can order it right off Amazon. Second, make a Google form that asks users to input the important information. If you don't want to make your own, I've included a template in the description that you can just make a copy of. Third, use a QR code generator and put that straight into Google Drawings. Here, you can adjust the formatting of the text or the color to make it something that you really like. Fourth, make a Google slide and try to fit as many little QR codes as you can on there. Fifth, simply print out that slide with the sticker paper, cut them out, peel them off, and apply it to anything that you think you might lose. Hopefully this helps you out, and if it does, or if it doesn't, consider sharing it with any friends you know are a little bit forgetful. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to see more content like this in the future, please subscribe. And I'm really glad that you decided to spend some time with me learning about how to recover your lost items. Thank you.